Hello, my name is Ryan Williams and I am a researcher and lecturer here at the University of Queensland. I'm making this video for you today following the tragic and horrific death of George Floyd in the United States and the ensuing global outrage at racism seen in the protests worldwide. My research is on how people experience racism and how they find dignity amidst racism. My research explores black Muslims with experiences in the criminal justice system. Now, while they were black and Muslim, they were fundamentally seen as being black and they were prejudiced because of their blackness. They could never escape the racism that their bodies provoked within British society. I was told how early on in life they experienced procedures of stop and search by police and how this had a profound resonance for their understanding of their present selves and their future selves. I was told how they were assumed to be thugs and assumed to be in gangs. One of the most important things that I found in my research is that racism robs people of dignity. It robs people of dignity and triggers a pursuit for an authentic self and for self-determination. Now the United States hasn't seen protests like these since the civil rights movement in the 1960s. We know from that movement that figures like Malcolm X embraced Islam as a way to move beyond racism. He saw it as an inspiring vision through which people could practice their faith regardless of their color or their race or their ethnicity. It was an inspiring vision for what American society could be. In my study, I found that Muslims who were black embraced Islam for one of two reasons. On the one hand, they embraced Islam for reasons similar to Malcolm X. That is, they embraced Islam because it provided a universal moral category, it provided a mode of belonging which allowed them to be free from racism. On the other hand, a group of Muslims who were black, who I interviewed, embraced Islam for the same reasons that Muhammad Ali, the world famous boxer, embraced Islam. And it was here that those who embraced Islam saw it as a route to be proud of being black. They saw it as a route that they could retain the distinctiveness of being black outside of the oppression of white power. It was a way for them to remain black and distinctive, free from racism, and it was a way for them to see themselves as nothing less than human and nothing less than great. Now, as we reflect on the protests around the world and the state of racism in each of our societies, we know that this isn't about thugs and looters. We know that this is more than just moral outrage, that we've had enough, that it is time to end racism. But we also need to know that this is about self-determination. This is about a moment for the self-determination, not only of people who have suffered racism in their lives, but also self-determination for societies to be free from structures that oppress people based on how they look and where they're from.